Hey guys, Mike Van Arsdale, MMA Mondays. Um, glad you guys are with me. Uh, I brought one of the fighters from the Black Zillion house with me today. Marcos Aurelio. That's right, from the Gladiator, right? Yes, <laughs> Maximus. That's Maximus. So anyway, he, he wanted to come down today to do the workout. Uh, we're going to try to keep this thing intense because t actually he was walking into the gym today and didn't get a workout in, so we have to get it in today because he's, you know, most fighters don't have time to waste and this guy's definitely not wasting his time. So we're going to keep the ball rolling on this today. Uh, tell your friends about the live exercise, guys. We'll make it tough. We'll make it sweet and short. Okay? So anyway, Marcus, all I want you to do right here is just walk in place. Walk, I mean, jog in place. Just bring your knees up. Few limitations being in the studio, guys, but that's what this live exercise is all about because if you're at home and you're in your living room, you don't have a lot of room to be running sprints around the gym. You can do it right at home or right in the office, wherever you choose. Okay? Bring your knees up a little higher. Okay, now lower. Now I want you to take your feet and I want you to kind of kick yourself in the butt. These exercises can also be done when you're moving. Uh, like I could do high knees as I'm running or I could do the heel to butts as I'm running. Okay. Uh, just look nice and just bounce it out kind of like this. Just bounce it out. There you go. Good. Give me about uh, 10 squats. Just do the exercises with Marcus, about 10 squats. It's nice and easy. Not all the way up, not all the way down. Just pump them out right there. Just in that range. This is the fight range right here, guys. This is the wrestling and the fight range. To go anything lower than that, you would actually be sprawling at this point where you're taking your hips away from the person if you see a person shooting on you. Okay? Marcus, put your knees to your chest right here. Knees right here, yeah. up to your chest. And just go one at a time. About two second pull, pull it up, yep. Before you guys tune in and when you know we're coming on, try to get like a five or 10 minute warm up before the cameras even start rolling. Marcus did about five minutes there. Now I want you to do a, uh, grab your leg like this. You can go down, touch your toe. You can do like three on each leg. He's testing his balance. Yeah, my balance. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's go down and back up. One more. And other leg. So far, no one's gotten this one perfectly, but that's just the way it is, the nature of the exercise. And that's good. Now get on your knees here. You're going to do push-ups. Just give me like uh, 15 push-ups. Warm up the upper body a little bit. I love push-ups. It's an exercise you can do at home, you know, in between workouts or at night. Mountain climbers. So right here, just gonna bring your feet to the outside here, okay? Let's do a few mountain climbers. Get total, it's total body there, guys. Good. Okay, stop again. Marcus right here. So when you do like eight push-ups this way with your hands staggered, then eight the other way, okay? So give me eight here. Push-ups. Push-ups. Stagger your hands like this. Okay. Okay, give me eight. Good. And the other way. Switch your hands. Okay, stand up. Guys, we're going to do these together. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, we're going to warm up the chest area. It's very important. Uh, keeps your, your chest and your shoulders and all the flexibility that you need to fight there. And it also act, actually helps you increase your speed. If you're too tight and tense in here, you're not going to be fast. You need to be relaxed. So hands together here. Just going to come out, then back together, then behind and touch your hands. Okay, now go a little faster. Out, together, behind. And faster, out, together, behind. Out, together, behind. Really reach out at the top now and try to get it as high as you can in the back. Okay? And you typically do about 20 of these as a warm up. For speed, flexibility, it's nothing more dangerous than a person that has the muscle and the strength, but they're also flexible that they could use that. And good, that's good enough. Now, we're gonna go side to side, I mean one side here, and then the other side here, keeping your arms straight, palms facing away. So here and 
here, here, and keep going. Typically, you're going to do about 20 of those repetitions on each side, okay? And you want to keep your arms straight here. Whenever you're doing these things, we should not feel pain. You should just feel a good stretch. So right when you get to the part where you can feel the stretch occurring, maybe go a little further, but no pain. So make sure you start easy and really build into it and really focus on getting that hand up as high as you can, okay? But you don't want to injure yourself, so just keep the repetitions correct. Good. All right, so with that in mind, um, he's pretty much warmed up to do what we're going to do. We're going to start off with technique like we did before, okay? Uh, as you can see, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hook the band up to Marcus's waist. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a door anchor here, and I have an ankle strap attached to that, all right? So attach your ankle strap to the door anchor. Then I chose the black uh, band because it offers quite a bit of resistance, but I didn't want too much resistance because he's going to do quite a few repetitions. So this, I think this is the perfect uh, band to use for Marcus. You have to determine what band is going to be perfect for you, but not the, don't, don't go as high as you think you can go. Go maybe a step, uh, a step or two below that. Okay, then I have another ankle strap here attached to an anywhere uh, uh, band here. So he's going to step into it, and you can do that yourself, Marcus. Yes. Correction, it's the anywhere anchor <clears throat> right, right around his waist. Now, what we're going to do is go into the lesson at this point in time. And uh, last week we worked on the jab. We're going to continue that lesson. He wasn't here, but believe me, he's uh, thrown tens of thousands of jabs in his career. So we're going to work on the jab. And what I'm going to uh, uh, incorporate into that is a little footwork. Thus, we're going to use our feet, and we're going to get resistance from the band as opposed to having the, uh, the uh, uh, bands attached to our wrist. So I want you to walk out slightly until you feel a little tension. Good. Yeah. That's good enough. That's good enough. Come back right here. Okay, because we've got to move forward from there. So he's got a little tension on the band. All I want him to do right now is we're going to start off with the same jab we did last week. Push off the back foot and take a small step with the front foot here to start. And just, just, like, just, just keep going here. And push. Notice when his front foot hits, that's when the punch is going to contact the target. The target may be a glove. The target may be his face. The target may be the side, one side or the other of his face. It doesn't always have to hit him, okay? He might be setting me up with that jab for a particular, another punch, okay? Now, what I want Marcus to do now is not just jab here, but I want him to bring the back foot here. So you're here and bring the back foot, okay? So jab and then recover by going back there. This is um, a very basic uh, foot movement that you need in fighting. To proceed forward, you don't want to go here and then be too spread out, people. Okay? I want to jab here, then I bring my back foot. What happens when I bring the back foot? I bring my right side closer so I can uh, throw a right hand. Okay? And plus, it helps me to keep my balance. Too many fighters a day are way off balance. They'll throw a hook, and now they've got to go that way because they, uh, they weren't ready to throw the hook, finish, and step around. A lot of fighters are not doing that. So what we're doing right here is keeping good balance. He starts here, and he brings his foot up so he continues with the same space in between his uh, legs. Okay. Now he's also feeling a little resistance here, not just going forward, but going back. He has to stop himself because the, the uh, band is pulling him back. So what's that doing? That's creating a, a stronger athlete. What position is he getting stronger in? A fighting position. His hands are up, his chin is down, could be a little bit more down, but his eyes are on the, on the target. Okay, his knees are bent, he's on the ball of his foot, and he's pushing off that back foot to go forward, and he's pushing off his front foot to go backward. Okay? Good, and take a little break. Shake it off. Nobody said you're going to learn this technique overnight, but it's good to see it. And as the week goes by, write this stuff down and practice it on your own, okay? You can do that at home. Okay, so now we're going to go into another phase. We're going to add the cross, okay? Now, notice when Marcus was throwing his jab, he's, his body is sit back here. Imagine if someone took um, a carving tool and carved this part of your body out. That's how you want to hold your body, okay? You want to act like somebody carved this part out 
My back is relatively straight as if someone took a broom and stuck it from my head all the way down to my butt here. I want to keep my body like that, but I want to carve this part out here. This hand, my back hand, and I'm a right-handed fighter. My back hand is here, right in that groove there. And it's for protection. I can protect here and I can protect if he goes to my body, okay? The other hand, for MMA it works a lot. I know boxing is here, but for MMA it works, a, I think it works a lot better. You know, everyone has their own opinion, but to hold your hand about eye level and out in front of you, kind of like this. If I go here and Marcus hits me really hard with the right, I'm gonna hit myself with those forearms gloves on. But if I'm here and Marcus throws the overhand, I can block it here and return fire there, okay? So kind of hold your hand loosely, but out in front of you here at eye level, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do now uh, that I went over the stance a little bit is Marcus is gonna do the same technique. He's gonna throw the jab here, and then he's gonna throw the right hand. Notice how the body's carved out, my weight is evenly distributed here. I'm gonna push myself forward using this leg, the back leg. I'm on the ball of my foot here. I'm gonna push myself forward and when I get forward, once I touch this person with a bent arm with my jab, it's safe to throw the right hand. That's the indicator. I touched him with a bent arm. If I can touch him anywhere near his chin area with a bent arm, I can hit him with my right hand. Now I can't. It'd be a reach and then I'd expose myself. But I want to stay in the confines of good technique. So I'm here, now I can throw the right. The weight's on my back leg. Remember I had about 50, 55% back here? I'm going to transfer it to my front leg and I'm going to change the lead shoulder to my back shoulder. Then I'm going to throw the right hand. Okay, here. So that, that's what Marcus is going to do without a partner. He's going to jab, then throw the right hand. Transferring the weight from his back leg to his front leg. Now, how do you pull the punch back? Look at my foot. My toes pointing towards the chin. My knee, the chin. My hip, the chin. My shoulder is pointing toward the chin now, but I'm going to, once this shoulder is pointing toward the chin, it's okay to throw the punch. It's like a whip motion. There's the punch. Now I need to pull the punch back. Am I gonna pull my hand back? Absolutely not. I am, but I'm gonna use my toe to pull it back. And it automatically comes back into place. Okay? So that's what Marcus is gonna practice with the band. Go ahead, round two, Marcus. Peace, peace. Yes. Push off. Peace, peace. Hip. Yeah. Peace, peace. Good. Peace, peace. Okay, now pull this back a little faster. Peace, peace. That adds speed to the punch if you're ready for that phase. Pull your jab back a little faster. And how do you pull your right back faster? With your foot. The foot's here. All you have to do is pull it back and the hand will come back. Okay? You hear that noise? That's Marcus breathing and I want you guys breathing with this at home. With every punch you should be breathing. Keeps your quality hey, high. Hey, our bodies need oxygen, hey, our muscles hey, need oxygen. Hey, it's a hey, way for him to get his rhythm down and to make sure he's hey, breathing hey, throughout the exercise. Hey, hey, Push off that back leg. Hey, 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 and break. Now what Marcus was doing, it was, it was cool. What he was doing was cool. He was kind of hopping in and then doing the technique you can do that. You can, that's not what I told him to do, but, the, but that's how, the way he's been doing it, and that's fine too. But the, the way I told you, it definitely works, but sometimes you might not throw a punch. Maybe I'll, I'll fake like I'm throwing a punch and move my feet like that to approach a guy to keep him on edge. You want this person always guessing, what is he gonna do next, okay? Because Marcus is doing so well, I'm gonna add a third punch, which is the hook, okay? He pushed off, I'll make it quick. He pushes off, he throws a jab, he brings the back foot. Here, there's a cross. Okay, as I'm pulling the cross back, I'm gonna allow my hook to go out. Here, straight to where the cross was. I like to say it like this. Instead of hooking here and reaching around like this, because I'm in front of him, if I was to the side, that would be okay, because he can't see it. He can't see it, I could hook him here. But because we're directly in front of him, one, two, the weight's on my front leg, right? I'm gonna rock it to my back leg and I'm gonna go shoulder to chin. Three, but I'm still looking at him and look how I'm covered. My hand's here, my shoulder's on the other side, three. After three, I just want you to simply pull it back and start again. So the drill will look like this. Then you're gonna go backwards, okay? Ready? One, two, three. And then back. It's good.
good. Keep on. Hush, hush, hush. Stay with them, people. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, hush, hush. Shoulders and hips. Hush, hush, hush. And I want a little bit more rocking of the weight. Look. Here. Two. Three. Backwards. Hush, hush, hush. Yes. Hush, hush, hush. Keep going. Hush, hush, hush. What's doing this workout? Your legs should be doing the work. Hush, hush, hush. Yes, you are throwing your shoulders, but that's because you're using your hips and your legs. Keep going. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, hush, hush. Add a little speed to a few. Hush, up. hush, hush. All the speed you have right now. Hush, hush, hush. Add a little speed. We're going to finish strong and fast. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, hush, hush. One more. Hush, hush, hush. Good. Okay. So what do we do? We hook the band up. Why? why? That adds resistance to what we're doing. That helps us uh, when it comes to strengthening the muscle groups we're fighting. It's hard enough in and of itself just being in that stance with nothing pulling you down or nothing holding you back. But that's what we use the, uh, the band for with the, with the uh, anywhere attachment. Uh, I think, how'd you feel about that? Tired. <laughs> Feeling good. Yeah. It's a very, very good exercise. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. It, and you know what? Sometimes he may do that exercise without the band. Sometimes he may do it with the band. Sometimes I might put a weight vest on this guy and do the same group of exercises. That's how you keep it fresh. That's how you keep it new. Uh, that's how you strengthen people, you know, not just for, with one concept, but with several different concepts. And that's the way we do it at our gym. So with that in mind, Marcus, uh, uh, we're going to come back to the same exercise to finish the, uh, the uh, program. But for now, we're going to go into strength and conditioning. Okay? And as a matter of fact, um, I'm going to use the same uh, setup here for the strength and conditioning program. Uh, as we did for the uh, technique, okay? So all we have to do is come over this way, a little bit here, and what, what I'm gonna have you do, Marcus, I'm gonna have you face, I'm gonna have you face uh, this way, okay? okay? So give me a little tension, but not much. So walk it out till you have a little tension, come right there. Okay, now just pick a line or somewhere on your floor there that you can jump over and get your feet pretty close together like this. And all I want you to do is jump across the line and then back, just like this as yeah. fast as you can. I'm going to time it. You don't need to worry about that. I'll tell you guys when to switch directions. When I say switch directions, face the other wall. Okay? This is part of a circuit. Uh, it's a five exercise circuit and you're going to do 30 second intervals. Okay? And we'll go through the circuit a couple times. It kind of simulates a round for MMA. All right? And, and that's what it's designed to do. I would, did this at Greg Jackson's gym many years ago. Uh, it's, it's just a typical MMA workout that people uh, uh, do at their gyms, you know, to, to really get people, uh, get the heart rates up, all right? So, Marcus is going to start the exercise, right? Three, two, one, go. Just quick feet, just quick feet, side to side. It's 15 seconds. You're doing great. This is your workout. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath at home. It's not a good idea. And face the other way. So rotate and go, side to side, quick feet, touch and go, touch and go, touch and go, you're doing great. Lactic acid tolerance, people, that's what we're working today in three, two, one, time. Come over here and go push-up position, push-ups, 30 seconds and go, just push-up. For 30 seconds, we're going to work the push-ups. If you have to do them on your knees, do them on your knees. But if you can do them like that, that's beautiful. Try to stay with them. Marcus just fought a month ago. He won a fight. He's looking for another one here soon. 10 seconds. Keep the pace up. You're doing great. You don't have to keep the pace up, but just keep pushing. OK, break, mountain climbers. Do me a favor. Pull, come out here a little bit with resistance, right? A little bit more. OK, now put your hands down. Hold yourself in that position, and I want you to pull your feet all the way up and go. 30 seconds, go. Keep the weight on your hands. Weight on your hands. You're starting to feel the workout right now, but that's okay. That's what it's designed to do. Quick feet, faster, faster. 15 seconds. Five seconds, now pick it up, fast as you can go. 
Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Time. Great job. Come over here. Face this wall right here. Okay. Now I want you to pick a starting point and then three feet further, a finishing point. And this is what he's going to do. He's going to go from here, over, touch. Okay. And you're going to do it for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Touch. Perfect. Just like that. Keep going. Halfway through, I'm going to switch you guys and switch. Face the other way. And go. Guys, this is MMA. We do bear crawls. We crawl on the knees. We do all this kind of stuff quite often. Any strong now. Any strong. And time. Walk over this way, Marcus. I want you to reach up here and grab the pull-up bar. And I want you to pull yourself up to 90 degrees, and you're going to do a 20-second hold. Okay? <clears throat> And ready, and go. You can't hold yourself up. Just grab the bar and keep your arms straight and, and hold yourself here. He's got a 90 degree. That's keeping tension on the bicep. It's very difficult to do, especially when you're breathing hard. But you could actually just go up there and hold. What does that, what does that work? Your grip. Three, two, one, and down. OK, now come over here. We're starting all over, side to sides. So put your feet here. You're going to go across the line as fast as you can. And 30 seconds, go. Actually, it'll be uh, 15 seconds. Go faster. This is real, guys. He's actually getting a little tired right now. I can tell by the look on his face. But he's tough, and he doesn't care. Why? Because if he doesn't do this, he doesn't win the fight. We win the fight in the, in the practice room, not when the lights are on. That's when you win the fight. And switch directions. Quick feet, quick feet. There you go. Work it, work it, work it. Touch and go. Keep your feet together. No bunny hopping like this. We're not doing that. He's keeping his feet together. Now bend your knees a little bit more. Faster. And push up time. Go. Go over here. There's no resistance on you with these push ups, guys, but it's gonna, you're going to feel it. And go. Great job. Pump it out. This is where it gets tough. That's where you have to make a decision. How bad do you want it? You got 10 seconds. Push. Try to move that body as a whole. Mountain climb. Pull it out a little bit. A little bit of resistance. Right there. And go into your mountain climbers. Go. Hey. Making your arms work because you have weight on your arms, but the band is also pulling you back that way. So you have to hold yourself in this position while you're doing this maneuver with your legs. Kind of like MMA. Ten seconds. Fitting strong and fast now. Yeah. Yeah. You don't care if it yeah. hurts. You want it to hurt. If it hurt, pain is your friend. Yeah. Good. Walk over here. Face the wall. Start, give me a little tension. Right here, right here. Little tension. Oh. Bear crawl, side to side. And go. You decide how much tension you need there. You, the further you go, the more it's going to uh, pull you. Keep the weight on your hands. Switch sides. Going the other way and go. You're all right, Marcus. Yeah. Okay. He's really feeling that in his upper body, and so are you. You don't want those arms getting tired during a fight, not being able to do anything about it. Quick feet. Five seconds. And time. Over to the pull up bar. You'd all, you could also, go ahead and go. You could also put the door anchor in at the top. <laughs> cool. Put your ankle strap to one of the bands. Kneel down and pull right here and just hold it there. Keep the tension on your arms if you can't hold yourself up. Hold it.
Hold it. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Breathe while you're doing this. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And down. Guess what? Last round. Last round. Come on, Marcus. Last round. Side to side. It should feel like a round of MMA, guys. Bend those knees. Stay low. Do your last round better than you did the first two. <clears throat> Put your feet together. There you go. And switch. Face the wall. And go. Come this way a little bit. There you go. Make sure you're keeping tension on the band. Five seconds. And push up time. Come on, let's hit it. 30 seconds. In three, two, one, attack. Whatever you're doing at home, don't take a break. I mean, you have to take a break, take one. But if you feel like you can push it and stay with them, do it. If, you, if you're starting to get really tired, just go to your knees and pump them out like this. Just to take a little weight off your arms. But the whole purpose of this exercise is to work these arms, work that upper body. Get that work in. Five seconds. Time. Out this way, mountain climbers. In five, four, three, two, and go. Better than before. More reps than you got before. You gotta start early, quick early. All the way through. Go all the way through. Quick feet, quick feet. As soon as your feet touch, they go. Touch and go. Let's build speed into your program. Come on. Touch and go. Bring them up. Bring them up high. Ten seconds. Finish strong. Faster. Time. Bear cross. Face that way. Ready? Yeah. Come on, Marcus. Nobody promised them a rose garden, people. Nobody said it was going to be easy, but he stepped up to the plate and said, I'll do the workout. Come on. Quick feet. Come on. Quick hands, quick feet. Try to keep those legs straight on this exercise seat and keep the weight on your arms. Make your arms do the work. Good. Face the other way. Last time on the bear crawls right here. And go. Come on. You got this. Doing great. Five seconds. Time. Over to the chin up bar. Let's do it. Guys, give me five chin ups. Do five chin ups. Underhand. Give me five chin ups, then we'll do 20 second hold. This is our last time, we're going to do five reps first. He's kind of doing half reps, but I'm going with that. Ready? 20, 19, 18, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Get down. Go ahead and drop the belt for now. Just gonna pick a couple exercises here for the abs. I'm not even gonna give them a break. I'm not tired, so it really doesn't bother me too much. I'm gonna lay them down here. Come on, Marcus. Come on. It's okay. I'm not. Hey, what's the problem, man? Let's go. Yeah. Let's lay down now. He's Mar believe me, Marcus doesn't care. He's a hard working guy. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna hold your feet and we're gonna do a three weight setup, three part setup. If you're at home, you can put your feet under the couch or you don't even need them. You don't even need someone to hold your feet. This is just another option. I could say don't do it, but since I made him work so hard, I'm going to hold his feet. Marcus, up to one side, up to the middle, up to the other side. Okay? So go. Now in the middle, and all the way up. And then another. That's two. That's three. That's four. Short, intense workouts that work our muscle groups for the fight game. That's what I'm incorporating into the practices on a daily basis. I don't like those long, drawn out workouts. Only if we're drilling technique do I do that, but I try to keep it fresh. Introduce new techniques every day, otherwise it gets boring. We do revisit the lesson, but I'm not going to do the same lesson every single day. 
Give me five more. That's one. That's two. That's three. This is an old school workout right here. It's old school boxing, basically. Okay, good. Marcus, I want you to um, put your, the diamond underneath your butt, and I want you to bring your knees up and then kick your legs straight out. There, now straight out. Don't bring your knees up so far, just like that. Four. It's gonna give me 40 seconds right here, guys. It's a timed exercise. Head up. Keep your head up right here. This works the, mu the neck muscles uh, in the front part of your neck and then your jaw, and that's really good for fighting, to hold the neck up. Straight out, all the way out. There you go. Kick them all the way out. You guys got 20 more seconds to go here. This is working lower abs. Hey, is this gonna be good if you're a fighter? Yes, it is. It's gonna be good if you're a normal person? Yes, it is, especially when you get older because it'll prevent hernias. It'll build the walls up down here in your lower abdomen. You need that to be strong. A lot of people get those hernias because that, that wall becomes very thin and, and weakened. Get your head up, look at your feet. And good, one more exercise, okay? Bicycle crunch, bicycle crunch. Big circles with your legs and go side to side and go. Big circles, bigger, bigger. Reach out, reach out, there you go. Big circles. This is timed exercise. There's a million different things we can do for, the, uh, for his midsection, for his core, his abs, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we're just picking a few here, and, and believe me, he's filling them. These, this, these, all three of these exercises actually work your punching power, and that's why I chose them today. Keep going. Ten seconds. And time, good enough for me. Stand up. See that, see that uh, anywhere? Acre? Step back into this. Step back into this. Guys, we're going to finish the workout up today. We're going to get right back into the acre. Step in. Pull it up. And he's just going to do some shadow boxing on his own to finish the workout. So you decide how much tension you want. I just want you out there. I want you shadow boxing, moving around a little bit, throwing your punches, maybe adding some knees, whatever you want to do, elbows, and it's going to be up to you. Okay. And go. Finish hey, the hey, workout. Hey, hey. You're sweating. Hey, 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 hey. Marcus hey, Aurelio. Hey, hey. MMA fighter. Hey, 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 hey. hey. with your feet, keep those knees bent, quick feet, quick hands. Focus on doing the technique when you're feeling it. Hey, 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 hey. Dig on him, Marcus, dig on him like you got the guy in front of you. He's trying to stop you. He's trying to stop you from getting your, your prize. What do you want? The man's up. So everything straight out. Last minute of the workout right here, people. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Give me one sprawl. Give me one sprawl. Get back up. Get back up. There you go. Those hands up, Marcus. 30 seconds to go. Move those feet. Punch and move. Punch and move. There you go. Change directions with your feet. There you go. You definitely want to move your feet after you throw a combination. Throw the combination, move your feet, return fire. Give me one sprawl. One sprawl. Back yeah. up. Five seconds. Finish strong. Quick hands. 
time. Guy, Marcus Aurelio, uh, MMA fighter, in the trenches. Good job, man. Thank How you feel? How you feel? Awesome. I'm feeling bad. Feel good? Hey, feel tired? Very tired, but yeah. very good. You know? Yeah. Guys, we went straight to the point. You know, sometimes you can talk your way through practice when you're coaching. Uh, I, I like to talk, but I don't like guys looking at me listening. I like them to keep working. So that's how we try to do our practices. That allows us to do more practices and get straight to the point in, out, over. And uh, that was an example that we did today uh, here at Body Elastics. Uh, you know, at the live workout, tell your friends about it. Anyway, um, I'll be bringing someone in, uh, someone else in with me next week. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I kind of like surprises. So we'll go ahead and do it that way. Anything to say, Marcus? Perfect. You know, I want to I wanna thank Coach Mike, you know. Thank you guys for the opportunity, and I want to let you guys know this is for real. You see me as a pro fighter? I'm feeling tired, you know, done, but I feel great, you know. I know, come back, I'm going to come back tomorrow and do this, it'll be much better. Thank you guys. Thank you, Coach. Okay, good job, man. Thank you. See you guys next week. Take care.